terms of the franchise, as you just uh, mentioned here, now I did make a video recently about a, a franchise because that's mm. something I get a lot of questions from coaches who who reach out to us to ask us about is uh, purchasing a franchise a good uh, option. Mm. Now, the honest truth is that it is and it isn't. Okay, mm -hmm. because there's coaches that have bought a franchise, but the franchise has failed. Mm. There's other coaches that haven't started a franchise. They've started their own business, their own brand, and it's got to the next level, right? It's, mm. they're, they're making six figures in a year. So mm. it really depends on, on a couple of things. It depends on how kind of bought in and passionate you are about that franchise mm -hmm. okay because at the end of the day even if you buy a franchise it doesn't guarantee that it's going to be successful yeah okay? because you still have to sell you still have to market you still have to drive in revenue for mm. the franchise and also the other downside is that if you like you put a lot of energy into growing the franchise but those clients ultimately aren't yours mm. That's right. You know, um, yeah. So you put a lot of energy, hundred percent. The franchise grows, but mm. those clients aren't yours. They're they're the companies. Mm. Whereas if you start your own training business, okay, you can work the same amount. You know, put the same energy into it, get get clients, but you know that at the end of the day, those clients are yours. Yes. You, know, you mm. can market to them. You can provide different services, and. Ultimately, that's, you know, it, that's that's pretty much the difference between the two. Um, mm. Now, the benefits of a franchise is obviously when you invest, you get a lot of the marketing already done for you. Uh, depending on what franchise, if it, if it has a big name, mm -hmm. then you're going to, you know, you will get clients because of the reputation, because of the name. Mm. But ultimately... It's the same effort and energy if you were to start from zero. Okay. Okay. So that's mm. just the way to look at it. Because some coaches it. think, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to buy a franchise. Mm. But it's still the same effort and energy, right? You still have to get on calls with parents. You still have to market the franchise. You still have to do the administration side to it. And then after you've done all of that, you've got new clients, but those clients aren't yours. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. what you mean. You know, the way I was thinking is because these guys say that they provide a lot of support, you know, in terms of all the administration, you know, the CRM right. system, they do marketing as well. That's what they said. So I'm a little bit, I mean, I understand the disadvantage of having the franchise. It's just mm -hmm. uh, you also feel a little bit more safe. I feel more safe that you know, potentially get clients or have all the support initial, you know, CRMs, all that stuff, you know, the yeah. booking systems, which right. quite support. But on the other hand, yeah, ideally, I wouldn't want a, a franchise, but I'm thinking, you know, because I've never done that before. I've mm -hmm. never done that. So will I be able to do it myself? I mean, how much work is going to need? I mean, it's the other disadvantage as well is that they need a lot of money, these guys. So, for example, this company told me that they need about 11000 Okay. So again, paying installments every month about three hundred pounds, but still, yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know. You know, that's uh, one of the things I need to clarify. Should I go with the franchise or no? But I see that, yeah. Uh, yeah I ideally, I would like to my own brand. Yeah, I mean, what I would recommend, and this is something I say mm. to coaches when when we talk about franchising, is yeah. ideally if you work for that company or you have some experience. Mm -hmm. and you buy into what they do, then mm. having a franchise makes sense because ultimately mm. you know their philosophy, you know mm. how they work, you know how the company operates, right? So you mm -hmm. become, you come like passionate about what you're doing. So yeah. if it's like that, then yes, a franchise makes sense. Mm. Okay. Now, if you're just buying a franchise because of the name and you've never worked in the company, you've, you don't have no experience with the product, then for me, it's a risk because yeah. you invest, but you don't know if you're going to like it in a year from now. Yeah. 
okay whereas with your own business yes you have to you have to start from scratch but you can change things right maybe yeah, at the but... start you do one to one training but then you figure out do you know what this is too much time i'm going to move into groups Mm, okay oh i don't like the groups okay i'm gonna go back to one one-on-one -on -one training do you see what i mean with, with a franchise you can't do that because they set the rules yeah i see what you mean yeah <laughs>